February 22nd, Replicons in Tampa at the Florida State Fairgrounds. Going out there today with uh, me and my daughter. A little camera shot this morning. Uh, we're going out there to kind of look at some turtles, other reptiles, uh, you know, talk to some breeders, see what type of uh, habitats that they keep their animals in. Um, I kind of like to use Repticon as a, a way to communicate with breeders who are out already keeping these animals and, you know, have a better understanding, a real understanding of how to breed these, get them acclimated and everything. So uh, I'm going to be trying to get with uh, some breeders to kind of pick their brains a little bit. Uh, also to see, you know, what they have out there. So if something catches my eye, I can start to, you know, maybe game plan, you know, uh, figure out a habitat and everything for the next Repticon that they have there. And, uh, you know, kind of set up my habitats and everything and get a game plan going forward for if, any, if I want to get anything that I see that kind of, you know, gets my eye. But uh, as far as this Repticon, um, I'm not really looking to buy anything as far as animals. Uh, maybe a turtle, you know, it just depends, you know, what they have out there, if the price is right type of thing. Uh, maybe some supplies for sure, you know, because you can always upgrade your habitats and stuff. So, yeah, uh, when I looked at the list online, it seems like there's going to be a lot of breeders. It's the first expo of the year in Tampa. Um, so maybe some of the holdbacks that these guys want to get rid of and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Uh, I'll take you in. Uh, when I get there.
So we're back in town from Repticon. Uh, it was a great event. Seen a lot of different cool animals, a lot of uh, different breeders. Got to speak to some, get some more knowledge, you know, because uh, knowledge is power, especially when you're dealing with reptiles. You can never have too much knowledge of these animals. But um, yeah, as far as uh, getting a turtle or anything, I didn't really see any uh, anything different that I, you know, kind of haven't already seen slash that, you know, caught my eye that I wanted. Um, it is still early in the year though. It's the first uh, Repticon of the year at Tampa, so I'm pretty sure the next one will have a lot more variety. Um, there was a lot of different varieties as far as uh, reptiles that the breeders had and stuff, so, and then the different type of animals out there. Um, the caimans were pretty cool to see, uh, the, the caiman monitors, but the hands down best animal that was out there, to my opinion, would have to be the coconut crab. Um, it was pretty cool to see two different places, two different vendors that have them. What's wrong? You want your puppy? You got your puppy. Did you, did you have fun? Did you have fun? Yeah. But uh, yeah, definitely the coconut crab was probably the coolest animal that I've seen out there. Uh, it does hold a place in my heart because it is native to the island of Guam. It is a Pacific Island uh, crab, but it, it is a homeland crab of the island of Guam. They eat them there, but uh, you know, they are um, pets also in the United States. Guam is US territory, by the way. But um, it was cool to see that both the breeders there got theirs imported from Guam. So that was pretty cool to see. And uh, just, you know, I kind of had an understanding and a knowledge of these, the coconut crabs from my family and everything. And to kind of see and have them in my face that I've never really had before, that was pretty cool. Uh, definitely makes me more interested in them. So I didn't get a coconut crab, but my daughter did see a hermit crab and she calls them a spider because, you know, they kind of are, you know, spiders, sea spiders, I guess you'd call them. But um, she uh, she saw one with the SpongeBob, you know, painting on it. She liked it. So we ended up getting it for her. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a setup video on that later. And uh, yeah, definitely was a cool event. Seen a lot of cool breeders. Uh, it was fun, though. It was definitely fun for the first one of the year. Can't wait for the next one. Um, if you like this video, uh, hit the like button. If Also, if you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel uh, and see more content like it. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I definitely did. So yeah. Hey, say bye-bye. Bye-bye.